Hello, hello everyone. My name is Chris Bean and Fantasy Premier League is officially back. Today I've made my first FPL draft and it's really, really awesome. If you love fantasy football, then please subscribe to this channel because I am going to post lots and lots of fantasy football videos here. Okay, now let's go straight to the draft. I had a tough decision between choosing Charlie Taylor and Eric Peters. Taylor would definitely get back to playing at the left back position that was shortly filled by Peters and I'm backing Peters to return to playing the midfield. After Hendrick's contract had expired, Eric Peters became a regular starter in the Burnley's midfield and I'm backing him to start there next season unless Burnley sign another midfielder. So I'll go with Eric Peters as he'll be more involved in goals and assists and also he'll be given a clean sheet in case Burnley keep a clean sheet. Vinagri also makes it into my defense. He's cheap and with Johnny injured, he's the one set to start at left back, unless Wolves sign another left back. I expect him to get decent points as Wolves is a very good defensive team and had 13 clean sheets last season alone. Trent Arnold is a must have. I can't say he's expensive because I expected him to be at least 8 million, but he's 0.5 million cheaper. The other defenders, I may decide to substitute them or even transfer them out, but with Arnold, it's different. I'll play him in each and every game and I'll expect him to provide some good returns. Salah is an essential pick and the main threat in a Liverpool attack. I fancy him to score more goals this season and I'm picking him instead of Mane because he obviously takes the penalties and he also takes the corners, so I expect him to score more. From those. Money is also a close call, but I'll go with Salah as he takes the penalties and uh, the corners. Uh, my main aim is to be rotating the captaincy band between Salah and Aubameyang. In case you haven't heard, Aubameyang is now midfielder and you'll be taking five points for every goal he scores and also you'll be given a point for a clean sheet kept by Arsenal. William was also signed by Arsenal and this improves the tracking threat of Arsenal team and the creativity up front. I expect Aubameyang to be scoring more as he is also expected to be playing as a centre forward. This will increase his chances of scoring more and more points for us here in FPL. ZH is also a great pick. Uh, Chelsea have a very very attacking side right now. Uh, the likes of Timo Werner, Christian Pulisic and Hakim Ziyech will be destroying opponent's defence come next season. Honestly, I was thinking of bringing in Christian Pulisic, but I don't really see him much difference between him and Hakim Ziyech. And more so, he's 0.5 million more, so I'll just stick with Hakim Ziyech. I'm not sure if Manchester United will play game week one, but if they will, and if they would have not signed Sancho, I'm definitely going for Mason Greenwood. This kid is really, really good in shooting the ball in the back of the net. And at only 7.5 million, he's the real bargain asset. It shocks to see Matias Pereira at only 6 million. Because uh, actually, this guy should be at least 8.5 million or a minimum of 8 million. He has the killer through balls, the dribbles, and he's really, really good in taking free kicks. You have to own this guy right now, because I assure you, you'll have to own him somewhere in the middle of the season, and at that time, his price will have skyrocketed. Just own him right now, as I've done. In my forward line, I'm going with Vadi and Mitrovic. I was also thinking of signing Timoana, but I feel Vadi will outscore him as he tries to challenge or as he tries to retain his golden boot. <laughs> Mitrovic scored 11 goals and 4 assists in 2018-2019 season while playing in a weak Fulham team that got relegated. He went to championship and he scored 26 goals and 2 assists and now they are back in the Premier League. Expect Mitrovic to score 10 or more goals 
that's enough considering he's only just priced at only 6 million. In goal, I'm going with Matthew Ryan because uh, I think Pope is too expensive, also Ederson and Danson are too expensive and they won't outscore Ryan with too many points. So I'll have saved some money there. Brighton will pick up some clinches along the way and in cases where Ryan does not start or he gets injured, I expect Barton to be the one in goal and he's already on my substitutes. My first sub is Kyle Walker-Peters. He played the last eight games for Southampton and he looks set to keep clean sheets and also provides a mass assist. I expect more from him. My second sub is Nathan Ferguson. I'm not super convinced he'll be a regular starter, but I'm keeping him on my bench just to keep an eye on him. So as in case he starts and his price increases, I'll, I won't have to buy him expensively. I'm now left with 0 0.5 million in my account, and that's basically my first FPL draft this season. So I'll be making changes as time goes and as the fixtures are released. So kindly subscribe and watch my future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and kindly, kindly drop a comment below. See you next.